Hello, my name is Colin, and today we're going to be setting up an analyzer on an EX switch. In Juniper nomenclature, an analyzer is essentially a port mirror, which can be a bit confusing because we actually do have configurations for port mirrors on other platforms other than the EX, uh, namely on our router platforms like our PTX and our MX, I think the ACX as well. Uh, they are different conceptually. Uh, port mirrors actually are filter based. They have the same net effect, but they allow you to be a lot more prescriptive about the information that you're going to be pulling off the wire. On our EX platforms, these analyzers are used to take traffic that's coming or going or coming and going from a port and dump it into a port or a VLAN and on some platforms to a remote IP address. There are considerations around what works on certain platforms. And specifically today, we're working on an EX2300. So these instructions will work on any modern switch that we have. If you're using something older, like a 2200, 4200, 3300, uh, one, they're getting close to end of life if they're not there already, so get new switches. Uh, two, you're not gonna use this configuration. This is an ELS or enhanced layer two configuration, not a legacy switching configuration. Uh, they're out there, if you wanna see it, put in the comments below, I do have that hardware, uh, but for today, it's the new stuff. So let's switch over to the lab environment and I'll show you the elements and then we'll get into the configuration. I always lose my mouse when I cut over. I wish there was a hotkey for this. Alrighty, so what you see on the screen here is my MPLS lab. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, this VSRX here at the bottom to basically send traffic across the port that we're going to be mirroring. Uh, the traffic will travel up this link to my core switch at my house. And that's basically represented by this cloud here in the diagram. On that switch, that traffic comes in on port 38, and then I will be dumping that traffic out to port 46, where I'll have a Raspberry Pi connected, and we'll use TCP dump to analyze the traffic. So let's look at our interfaces here, and we'll do that by logging on to my core switch. There's no special configuration that you're going to need for the interface that you're actually capturing traffic from or mirroring traffic from. Uh, just leave it alone. I'll show you what mine looks like, but um, there's no configuration that's specific to that interface. This is what it looks like right now. I'm going to leave it alone. For the interface that you're going to connect your uh, analyzer to, the collector or what have you, uh, you do need to have a specialized configuration. It's really straightforward. It's just Ethernet switching and nothing more. So set up the output as that. Now you configure your analyzer from the forwarding options part of the configuration hierarchy. So we'll go into there, forwarding options, and then we can create, in this case, I'll just use edit, an analyzer, and I'm just gonna name it foo. So you give it a name. Some platforms, like I had mentioned earlier, can have multiple analyzers, lots of different types of configuration. Again, depending on the platform you're working on, make sure that you understand what those considerations are. So we'll get into the part of the config for our analyzer, and now we're going to define input which is the port that we want to mirror, and then output, which is where our collector are, is. And we'll also define what traffic we want to collect off of that input, ingress, egress, or both. And in our case, we'll just do both. So I'll do set input ingress interface GE0038, and set input egress interface GE0038. That means I'm collecting traffic in both directions, and I'll set an output interface of GE-0046. That's it. Now, let's get, log into my Pi. And I've already probably saw this command in the buffer. This will run a TCP dump on interface ETH0, which is the interface that's plugged into this port over here. And to constrain the output, I'm defining this host. And that host is what is the source interface on this VSRX2. So we'll take a look at that, show route 8.8.8.8. And that's my next top. So if I look at that IP address, show interfaces terse, ge we'll see that IP is my source. So we can see that here. And if we run this now, we really shouldn't see anything. So I'm gonna start a ping to 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Still don't see anything here. Let's commit and quit. And as soon as that configuration commits in the other window, we should start to see those ICMP packets. There they are. 
So let's jump back over here while that ping is still running. And if you were having problems, you can use Show Forwarding Options Analyzer to confirm that your configuration looks correct. Uh, just as recently as yesterday, I had a customer asking me about their analyzer and the state was down, but they also didn't have an output interface listed here. And that could happen for a few reasons. You could either have it misconfigured or there is no link on that interface. Now, the interface doesn't necessarily need to be configured properly for that link to come up, obviously, but it is going to need to be configured properly for that output interface to show up here. So if you do have a problem and the state is down, just make sure you do see your ingress and your egress and your output. If you do, usually the state is up. And I can't think of a time where I've seen this down where all of these interfaces are actually listed. All right. I'll go ahead and roll that back because much like trace options, you don't want to leave analyzers running unless you absolutely need them. They do take system resources. We'll commit and quit. We should see that iperf stop once this finishes committing and then we're done. As you can see, there's not too much to it. Again, if you want to see, oh, this is stopped, that's good. How this is done on other platforms or on other versions of code, just let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to record a video. Hope this was informative. Have a nice day.